The Ghana Federation of Disabled Organizations wants their 3% disability fund in the District Assembly Common Fund increased to ensure economic independence. Chairman of the Kholi Klote Chapter of the Federation, Elvis Kosi Alupui, made the call when the Assembly presented its fair support package to the group here in Accra. District assemblies are obliged to dedicate part of the annual common fund towards the welfare and support of persons with disability, even though the disability fund was recently increased from 2 to 3 percent. It is unable to cater for the needs of the physically challenged. Most district assemblies have each year not been able to support the total number of persons with disability within their catchment areas. Speaking at the maiden disbursement of the Kole Klote Municipal Assembly, the chairman of the Kole Klote chapter of the Ghana Federation of Disabled Organizations, Elvis Kosi Alipui, thinks this is not helpful. All of persons with disability in the particular community or municipal cannot benefit at once. With that recommendation, government is going to increase the 3%, maybe to 4 or 5%. That's what we are looking for. I can see far away that this is going to reduce begging for arm within Kole Klote Municipal. Municipal Chief Executive of the Kole Klote Municipal Assembly, Samuel Ni Ajayteria, assured constituents of the Assembly's commitment to improving the welfare of the physically challenged in the municipality. Before this day, for example, we've done a few interventions, some with very critical situations. So we have given similar support uh, from the, uh, our IGF uh, so that those people, we don't wait until they've got into very severe and serious challenges. Samuel Ni Ajayteria, however, expressed concern over persons with disability from other municipalities infiltrating the assembly, affecting their programs.